the mean age of a group of students is 15 years when the age of a teacher 45 years old is added to the ages of the students the mean of their ages become 18 years now the question says find the number of students in the group find the number of students in the group now you recall that the formula for finding the mean the mean of um, the students we have so let's just write that down the mean the mean age the mean age is given by the sum of the group of students that is the sum of the group of students now divided by the number of students the total number of students so this is the formula for um, the mean like we know you know the mean is the sum of the data divided by the total number of observations that we have so the n here represents the number of students the number the number of students the number of students so we are going to use well, let's the sum of the group of students let's denote that by s so let's call what we have here we're going to denote the sum of the group of students by s so in other words the mean is just going to be the sum which we have called s divided by the number of students which we are going to call n and in a problem statement it says the mean age of a group of students is 15 years that is s divided by n is 15 let's call this equation 1 now let's go ahead and read the statement on it says when the age of a teacher 45 years old is added to the age of the students the mean of their ages become 18 years now note when the age of a teacher so the teacher is added to the original number of students and the age of the teacher we've been given is 45 years old now we've been told that the mean changes to 18 18 years now the thing is how do we convert this whole statement here to a mathematical statement how do we implement the extra condition there now look now plus teacher when you add a teacher to the sum of the number of students we have so the mean the mean becomes it becomes what so the total number of ages sorry the sum of the ages of them um, so this will be this the sum of um, the ages of the group of students here the sum of the ages the sum of the ages of of group of students so the mean is going to be now when you add a teacher to the original number of students so the sum increases because the age has been increased by by 45 so the sum increases so this is plus 45 and then divided by now the number of total number of um, of people we are taking into consideration that is number of students in the group since we are going to be adding a teacher so the number of observation is going to be n plus 1 so this equals we've been told the mean now changes to um, 18 now when you're taking the teacher into consideration so let's call this equation equation 2 now what the question says is find the number of students in the group find the number of students in the group well we said n represents the number of students in the group so let's let's use equation 1 and 2 to find that now from equation 1 what we have here is s divided by n now this equals 15 so you can just cross multiply so you have s equals 15 times n so this is what you have for the first one now for the next one that's for equation 2 what we have here is s plus 45 divided by n plus 1 equals 18 now what you can do here is you can cross multiply so you have s plus 45 equals 18 times n plus 1 so this is going to be s plus 45 equals 18 times n you have 18 n plus 18 times 1 you have 18 now from the first equation we have here we have that our s 
equals 15n. So anywhere we find s in this equation here, like we have here, we replace it with 15n. So I'm going to write 15n here plus 45 equals 18n plus 18. So our aim is to find n. Now you have 15n here, you have 18n here. So let's bring all of them on one side. So I can subtract 18n from both sides. So you have negative 18n, negative 18n. So this is just going to give me 15n minus 18n. You have negative, negative 3n plus 45 equals 18n cancels this. So you have 18. And then similarly, you can subtract 45 from both sides. So this goes off. So you have negative 3n equals 18 negative 45. You're going to have negative 27. So our aim now is we want to find n. Now to find n, we divide both sides by negative 3 divided by negative 3. So this goes off. Negative cancels negative, And 3 cancels 27. You have 9. So your n is going to be 9. So that implies that the total number of students is is 9. So our answer is um, answer is B.